Okay, class, can someone please tell me what a verb is? Me! Nameless? A verb is the action word! Correct! Can someone also please tell me what a noun is? Me! Chai. Anyone else but nameless? <laughs> Miss, just pick me now! Okay, nameless? A noun is the name of a passing place or thing! Correct! Well, well done, nameless! Okay, class. Excuse me, miss! Yes, nameless! Can I go to the toilet, please? Quickly! Thank you! As I was saying, class, we will be discussing vowels. Does anybody know what a vowel is? La di da di do di do! Yeah, well, I'm a tattoo artist. Oh, that's so cool! I really want a tattoo! What? Well, why not just get it? It's not that easy. My mom will not let me. It's pretty easy to me. I have my equipment in my car. I can do something for you. Hey, hey. Hey. Yeah, I can give you a little tattoo on like your shoulder or your arm, wherever you like. Oh my um, days. Okay. Jesus is Okay, give me your number so I can call you after class. <laughs> It's zero four zero ha! one two two four five nine. Cool. I'll see you then. Hi. Thank you. I, I love this year. Hey! I'm gonna take over the year for another year. African dog. Come and eat your food. From school. Ah, finally you're back. I was wondering where you were. Uh, yes, the school bus broke down. Hey! Yeah. That's unusual though. I need to email them and see what was wrong. Honestly. Anyways, who gave you this jacket you're wearing? I don't have a school jacket, so I just took one from the lost and found. Eh? My daughter wearing lost and found jacket. God forbid. We must go to the shop now. Buy you jacket. Oh yeah, go to the car. Mommy, you're driving so slow. Will you shut up? I will drive the way that is most comfortable for me. It's so embarrassing. Every guy is overtaking us. We must find you a jacket. I don't like this. Oh, hello. How can I help you? I'm looking to buy a quality jacket for my daughter because I don't like this one she's wearing. That's no problem. There's a selection of jackets right there if you want to have a look. Okay, thank you. Go. No problem. Hey, see this one? Very long and heavy for the cold weather. Eh? What do you think? I don't like the color. Ah, what's wrong with this color? These children nowadays, they don't know fashion. Ah, what about this one? See the quality before. Too dramatic. Ah. Hey. Okay, what about leather jackets? Nah. Your taste is too high. Everything, no, no, no. Why am I even allowing you to pick? I should pick for you myself. Eh? But I don't like anything. <gasps> oh my gosh, mommy! What is it? This is a not face jacket. My dream jacket. This one? <laughs> yes! Wow. Oh! This all black, boring something. <laughs> mommy, please. It's the most popular jacket. Okay. Let's go to the corner and try it on. Yay! Hmm. Mommy, I can't believe you don't know how famous this jacket is. Honestly, you're going to end up buying one for yourself because it's too beautiful. And the best part of it is they have it in my favorite color, black. Um, Mommy, put it on now. She told me, take off my jacket. I tell her, babes, man's not hot, never hot. What? I tell her, man's not hot. Oh. The guy told me, take off my jacket. I tell her, babes, man's not hot, never hot. Wow, the jacket looks great.
great on you. <laughs> Thank you. Madam, what do you think? Would you like to buy the jacket? <laughs> Madam? Ah, sorry. That's no problem. I was just asking if you would like to buy the jacket. Please. Okay. No, no problem. <laughs> yes. Sweet home. <laughs> Mommy, are you making tea? Off your jacket. Um, I'm kind of cold. I think I'll leave it on for a little bit longer. Off your jacket. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes! Ah, uh, Mommy, it's not what it looks like. It, it's only paint. It's just paint. Uh, yes! Scrub it off. Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> it's not working. I give up! I'm going to sterilize your hand for one day. Hey! Mommy, please! If I come back tomorrow night and see that tattoo is still there, hey. it's over. This tattoo better come off! You better come off! <laughs> God saved you! But next time, if you do something like this, you will not be this fortunate. Rubbish. So guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to follow me on this graphic card, Inca underscore. Hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm going to get straight to the point because there's actually something I want to share with you guys. And it's just wait. Just wait. That's literally what I'm trying to say is just wait. Because God has everything under control. Don't panic. Don't be anxious. Don't be stressed. Just wait and chill and pray and at the end of the day god is gonna come to you okay <laughs> but yeah guys that's something i learned this week well i've been known but like it's just something i was reminded of this week and yeah i feel like god is pruning me and he's helping me not to really stress over the things of this world i'm just really in a place where i'm building my relationship with the lord i know I've been working with the Lord for some time now, but <clears throat> I finally feel like right now I'm his best friend. Before I felt like I was just God's like friend for a while. But now because I've been reading my Bible more, I've been praying more, I've been watching more sermons. I just feel like me and God are really locked in in this season and it's never going to change. And I am never leaving in Jesus name because, whoa, the mental difference, the mental difference when you don't have God or... When you, you have God, but you're not as close to him as you used to compared to as when you and God are best friends. Oh, my gosh. It's just so different. And I never want to let go of this joy and this peace. So I'm never leaving this place of being so intimate with the Lord. And I really encourage you guys to do the same because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You won't be tied to anything. You won't be tied to anxiety, um, depression, fear, insecurities, all of that. You're not going to be tied to it because where the spirit of the Lord is, there will be freedom. So access that freedom today. And if you don't know Jesus, give your life to him. Accept him. Tell him, Lord, from today, from now, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and you rose on the third day. Have authority over my life. I believe in you. Amen. Say that to him and give your life to Jesus because that's when you truly start living. But yeah, guys, I love you all so much. And I'll see you next time. But for now, I'm out. Ooh!